Some days I realize that I wake up to the reality that was once a dream and I think I see trees are green, red roses too, I see them bloom for me and you and I think to myself, what a wonderful world. I don't know if it's at this point that you do not ask, but I tell you why I don't have a headboard. And until recently, when I was watching Shits and Gigs and James was telling his story, that I learned that not having one is actually associated with poverty. I'm not poor. I could never be. I just do not like headboards. Not one bit. Every bed I ever bought with a headboard, I gave it away. The ones I made myself, I just made without a headboard. I have no reason why. I do not know why I don't like headboards. I just don't. That's the long shot of it. Mornings are pretty beautiful and peaceful around here, and every day I wake up with a playlist in mind. A special playlist. When I say special, I mean it reminds me of someone or transports me back to a very specific moment in time in the past. And today, this is my playlist. As oddly relaxing as this is to watch, in all honesty, I'm sort of bored. Are you? Let me read you a poem. It's not a poem per se, it's just a creative piece I wrote. Trigger warning, it's a bit lovey-dovey, mushy-mushy. It might trigger feelings of loneliness. So here goes. <sighs> It was the way he towered over me, not like an ocean wave threatening to bury me, a lot like a jacaranda tree, spreading its generous branches to shade me. It must be the bloom season, like the purple rain under this shade, I felt my knees shed their ability to support my luscious hips. He asked for permission not just to lean in for a kiss, also to touch my supple skin. In a moment of passion, my dense figure was suspended around his waist. My BMI reads obese, but his hands read feather light. An epiphany too complex to connect back to reality. His skin carried the plush of a baby's cheek under it packed tender pillars of muscle. His lips felt like the sight of honey dripping off a packy nipple. And when my forehead wasn't being covered in kisses, he mapped out new imprints on my neck. The hickeys, a work of art, complementing the cascading tattoo that peeps around my shoulder. We talked. 
as a song we coincidentally both liked played lightly in the background. Daylight came. We stared into each other's faces, savoring every last moment, as we both knew all of it, as beautiful and as safe, was just an imaginary tale. This feels warm and cozy, right? Let this serve as a trigger warning. You will be startled back to reality in three, two, one. Just here to show you the results of good jeans and curl activator gel. So it will look something like this. And that's it. I just use gel. On other days, I'll wash and use whatever hair food or my body butter from head to toe. I, you can call me Becky because I really have good hair. That's the secret ingredient. Have good hair. And then you can use gel or whatever other thing you want to use. The brand does not matter, although I use Venus because the first person who ever used gel on my hair used Venus. And I'm just too lazy to think for myself. So I've been using Venus ever since. It could cause discoloration because I'm not sure the hue of brown on my hair is gel or just natural. Maybe... In our family, maybe hair is not dark black. I do not know. But it's not damaging my hair. So we're good. I want to come here and play a fraud and tell you, oh, there's this and this product. Just have good hair. Just be born with good hair. Start from there. <laughs> Are you new here or do you remember us in this hair? I miss this hair too. Hmm. Let's see what we'll do with it in 2024.